Well, hello there. I'm Ranger Kiki, and this is Mr. Salado and Bear. This is his third day. I got here Thursday night, and it's Sunday. Yeah, so it's third day. We're here at the chicken, and why it's not called the chicken? We, me and my friend, named this place chicken because every time we come out here to take pictures, there was a rooster. Ooh, excuse me, a rooster out here. And he just sit around and watch people come by. <coughs> and after the Hurricane Katrina, we never seen chicken again. Oh, it's okay. Look, the monster ate the guy and left the shoe. Oh. Monster in the woods, we're gonna die. Look, this we got a pack of cigarettes. Oh wow. Ooh, we got a treasure. This might be a memorial to a dead hiker. Should, should we really go? No, we're gonna leave it. Look, this here's another pair. So it's a memorial. We're gonna make sure it stays a memorial. And there you go. We gotta hurry up and get out into the woods before it gets hot. Now this is where we at. And a few days ago, we were over. Uh, where the hell? We were over it here. Way, that's all that yeah, yeah, we was over in this road over here. Now we over. Yeah, here. So you can take this long freaking trail to get to the bayou. Which I'm not doing. It's too far. And it's boring. Bend down it. And it's nothing but pine trees. So we're going to start here. We're going to do. And back here. Now if he wants to come back. And do that. That's yeah, that's on him. Alright. This is the Big Branch Marsh Natural Wildlife Refuge. Let's go. And you can see how boring this place is, but you do see some good wildlife here. And past this is nothing but pine trees and a couple of nice beautiful oak trees, but you see this tall grass. That's why you'll barely see any videos of this place, because it's, in my point, it's boring. You can hear him in the back. That's bear. Yeah. I think bears go like this one. This is day three with me and bear on a vacation. He's here for two weeks. So I decided, and my boss decided to make me work this week instead of the other week look what's in there this one got clay flesh in it mm -mm, you smell it oh good breakfast too The greasy part, or you? Yeah, turn back on. What, the, what was that? The greasy? Yeah, the greasy part is part of Louisiana. Oh, so grease is in Louisiana. Tradition. Correct. Mm. Fat, uh, clerk, cholera, arrest, and, and uh, high blood pressure. There's mud bug. There's just like these mud bug tails that are cooked and, and peeled, and they put it in rice and spice and put it in a pie. This is a shell eater. Oh, that's a ducky. Ducky poop. It's a walking tour. It's a walking tour. Well, it was a pair of right around. It's 
that's okay. Yeah, they, they might have been sideways. <laughs> but there's a chance that that whole thing was filmed sideways. There we go. Oh, that sucks. We can always do a retake. See, that's one thing about editing. You can always retake something. Yeah, it filmed it. Both of them filmed it sideways. Damn. We'll go back to the beginning. We'll just start it over. I don't know why it did that. That's what happens. He was telling me it took him five hours to edit one video. It is. He put some hours in making these videos. You'd be surprised. All the bull he has to go through with that little phone. For those who know, he uses the phone for... It's the iPhone that does my channel. The channel's run off an iPhone. And that's a pain in the butt. It is. Yeah. Enjoy the view while we're walking around. Right for show? That's the new. Well, we're at the Big Branch Marsh Wildlife Center out in Cookie Land. Big Branch Marsh. And uh, you guys may have seen some swamp and forest so far with a little bit of peace. So you've seen some woods maybe, and you've seen some bike trail, and you've seen some Cookie Land. But just walk in the marsh. Usually certain seasons we have very high water here. Yeah, that's what I don't like about this. So what you had for breakfast? Oh yeah. So breakfast was a corn dog and two crawfish pies. Yeah, we're eating good in the south. Ranger says Greece is a Louisiana thing. This house is for you, is what I was thinking. It's very agree that Greece is very healthy for you. Yeah, especially Ranger, Louisiana. Ranger had a corn dog and, and I think uh, he had Chinese, he had egg rolls for breakfast. We need to let you know that we're eating good and healthy <laughs> out of gas stations for breakfast. No time to cook, we gotta get to the marsh. Yeah, it's gonna get hot. Personal chefs is <laughs> Try to get out into the shade before it gets hot and enjoy the morning with the teacher. Uh, might as well come with us. Yeah. You know the benefit of your computer? You're not getting bit by the flies in the arm as you hold up this camera. But I am. All for your entertainment. Bitten for your entertainment. Roger well, Snake Ranger. Uh, no more views. <laughs> Alright, now this is where. <laughs> this is where I stopped doing that. Funny stuff. The accent. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see if Mr. Full Auto can do the normal voice for more than five minutes. <laughs> we'll try it for you. You're not going to make it because you're oh, with the kooky. Four minutes and 59 seconds is about the ball. There it is. It is a kooky week. It really is. Just imagine the southerns and the people that used to live in this type of environment. Over in New uh, Louisiana, uh, I'm sorry, New Orleans, they got an area called Jean, Jean Lafitte. That's a beautiful park. Never made any videos there, but I do used to go there. Look at some quackers! And they have where the Indian Hills are at. 
almost a quarter to a football field where they packed mud and made a landscape where they could live. And they built that up and that's where they lived for many years to this to something happened to them. Yeah. Look at that little pretty lily pad. Usually when I come out here, I don't have the white flowers, so they've they're blooming. So that's pretty. See all the little white dots. Oh, how cute! Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't sound good. Yeah, so just think about it. Back in the day when the Indians used to roam these areas, how did they survive? How did they do it? Well, pure technology. Maybe I take Mr. Full Auto K AK four seven oh one one two to some of the places where they had Indian mounds and where they did surveys and find all kinds of artifacts. I'm trying to remember if I made any videos out here. Bear should know. Bear! I would make videos out here. Where's Boy Scout Road sincere? Is it? I know you did Boy Scout Road videos. Yep. Ah, oh, I remember. Somebody said, oh, you got a son. I'm like, no, I don't have children. I remember that video. I forgot what it was about. I think it was just showing y'all the, the scenery. The scenery out here. Well, we're going to go on this deck and see what we can get to this to see. A house. We're in the marsh. Look, some crackers. Yeah. Fresh marsh, cypress swamp, and pine flatwood. That's what the sign says. What's the camera doing the same thing? What's that way? This is what I hate the most, right here. These jackasses. So, Paul, whatever your name is, and this and this and this and that, y'all, y'all jackasses. So, how you enjoy this area, Mr. Florida Kale Bear? Other than the sun in my eyes, it's gorgeous. I don't know what the birds are doing. They're chirping, making noise. It is beautiful out here. Yeah. 
Why was this a little more shadier? I think I'm going to put on my hat. So I can focus more on the bugs going through the grass buzzing by. <laughs> Is it me or does the water look black? It's black. It's black water. Yep. It's Some tactical operations out here. I thought it was black water. Yep. All the, the dead material. Why are you always taking your own dust over? I came to see the living. <laughs> Oh, whatever works. It's good to know. Let's see, what can we make out here? We need a couple leaves. Let's grab a couple leaves. All right, we're gonna make something really cool. Look at Bear, he's doing stuff up there. He's making a video of his bear with Kooky in it, I guess. I heard. I'm doing good! A little hot! I'm making... I'm making something for Bear. He's gonna be proud of. Oh, poor Bear. Don't die, Bear! You can live! Yeah, he wears his fur coat every day. Bear sweat. This sweat jelly. That's where we get jelly from, from bears. And that scenery. So I just made this thing here. That's a, this is a real survival bracelet. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to Bear for a souvenir. <laughs> He's going to get crushed in his bag. Here we go, Lily Brads! Yeah, this, this, like, this trail is pretty hot, too. There's not a lot of shade until you get way in the back. And it's just pine trees for miles. But it's a good little walk just to see some birds. Maybe a croc. Croc from the uh, salties. And some, maybe a nutrier and some minnows. Like I said, I barely see any life here. Look, this is where they used to catch the, uh, the maple, maple trees. Imagine getting dropped off and something like this. Really? Nah, I think you survive. What you think? You think Bear and, and Ranger Cookie survive? The... Now these will cut the hell out of you. I think this is called Razor Glut Grass. I could be wrong about the name, but it's Glass can cut your hair if you do it right. Raise your grass. Imagine getting dropped in this. Naked. <laughs> Mama loves you. 
You better hold your doodads or make a basket for it. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel sorry for the naked guy who just dropped that net. You better make a basket for your friend down there. You go to get razors. These are, if I'm not mistaken, this is called razor grass. Yeah. yeah. Ow! Just looking at it, cut you. Sharp sharp. It's always sharps. All right. Over here, we usually have a couple of fish, birds, pelicans, chickens. Well, I mean, uh, pelicans. See, I could have took dog here. He just get in the mud. Poor dog. I had to leave him at home because I knew he's gonna be in the mud and jumping in the. <laughs> I might speed this video up, but uh. But y'all got to absorb all the, the the joy that we have here and all the sceneries. Got to do it slow. Try catch one then. He says catfish in there. Oh shit. I forgot to turn on my GPS watch. <laughs> Maybe I come out here for a sunrise picture take. If you can catch a fish in the new lily pads. Well, if there's anything alive, it's a uh, bear and a ranger. At least there's something living out here. You can always eat my legs. <laughs> well, you are greasy. You probably would be delicious. <laughs> ranger tacos. The best, especially when you're in a sleeping bag. If we have a hankering for a Korean barbecue, we could just eat the dirt. The dirt. Korean barbecue. He got some good hind legs, quarters. Poor dirt. We can cut one leg off and call him uh, Lucky. Eh, let's just eat the neighbor's dog. T it tastes better than Chihuahuas. Birds out here, something's living. Poof. They She's... like to wear it shady. Yeah, I'm gonna find my hat when I get back to the car. All right, always take a look behind you. Look at all those little lily pad light little flowers. Oh, 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 oh. Just... Walking backwards is fun, but yeah, who's walking forward? So for... This is life through bear's eyes. And, and here's another thing I do do, I do grab and use to remind me where I've been. I always grab these pamphlets. They always have them around parks. You can go to park place and you can get all the kinds of maps to go to camping areas and places like this so grabbing these will also remind you where you've been well this is bear
trying out he's trying out this weird looking bike here at the Never brooks one of these in my life and boy it's so <laughs> We have Brooks Bike Shop in Cove. Ah, uh, damn it, Mandeville. And uh, Bear's trying this. It's green, and it's my own possibly new personal murder sickle. <laughs> murder sickle. You ready to kill everybody? What road you on? You on? If you ever come down to see Ranger Kuki, you can come to Brooks Bike Shop. He has two of them, one in Coveton and one in Mandeville. He rents bikes. And sells and trade. Yeah, no. <laughs> CDs, man. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, Polly count. Yeah, no. Whoa, what was that? Boy Scout Road. Oh. Finally, we made it there. There's no Boy Scouts. No. I got cookie scouts. We don't want cookies. <laughs> we made it to Boy Scout Road. We made it to Boy Scout Road. <laughs> and you, and you you're supposed to make your funny voice no more. Ha! Oh, that didn't last okay. long. <laughs> See, there's basically you're going to see the whole trail all the way to Lake Road. You can see Lake Road from the other side, but we're going about right here, and that's it. I just want to show where the fishies might fish at. Or, I'm sorry. I hear lunch. There is stuff living. Yeah, you forgot your frog gig. Yeah. I got a knife. I just catch them. This is the farthest we go in there. Look, look, fish. Fish. Oh, yeah, but you have to catch it right here by this pipe. They go in this pipe to hide. We see enough dead stuff. We want to see the breathing and living. Is that a turtle head? No, it's a. Hmm. Just poisonous snakes. Let's go play with them. <laughs> Let's have fun. Whoa. That was cool. Fish jump and not jump on the line. Just to let y'all know, every time I go somewhere as far, far away, I always make something or pick up a little rock to remind me of this place. Or the places I've been. So I'm going to give this to Bear. So he can always remember this place. Here you go, you Bear. Doing? You know you're talented. You'd be walking and making this. That's awesome. It was quick. But it was... Yeah, you fast. You must have been hanging out with some Cajun engines. You're getting good. Thank you. So now... If you put it in his bag and turns brown, it, it might fall apart. So you must hang that somewhere. Because it's green now. You can probably put it anywhere. There you go. So, like I always do when I go far, far places. There you go. You got a burst it. I always, it. I always make something or pick up a fancy rock. 
I got tons of them. Darren Miller gave us a rack in 2014, and it's still in our truck. There you it's go. Like a rack around the world. <laughs> yep. I think I made he it. Thought it was, he thought it might be flint or quartz. Or he, how much flint content it has, and you know, we, we drag a rock. <laughs> Good memories. Yeah. So I don't know what y'all do. So leave a comment. Do y'all do what I just did? Do I pick up something and for a sentimental value item, or make something out of somewhere and give it to somebody, or keep it for yourself? Let me know below. What do you do when you go far away and you go to a place like this? I think that band can tighten up if I made it right. Yeah, you made it right. What's next? You're going to make bear a Hawaiian grass skirt? Don't give me no ideas. Off. You said you had extra pigs that we could hunt and get bear a grass skirt. You need some cheeky seashells and we're all good, man. We're partying. <laughs> 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 Two wows with ranger. Cheeky seashells. <laughs> we get some seashells. Poor bear. Poor bear. Wear the outfit for one day. <laughs> All right. Well, this is almost the end of our show or this walk. Imagine getting dropped off in that. You'd be like this in the mud. You won't be able to see doodle. You gotta hop. And hopping in mud is be impossible to see that house over there. Hey, look, I'm on this rock here on the road and I can't see nothing. No more houses. It's all tall grass. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this walk about on our third day of Bears vacation. I don't know what it is. It looks like wild cucumber or swamp potato. But I wonder if we can roast them and eat them, Bear. Wild edibles? We have to check the guidebooks. Pretty flowers out here. <laughs> I think I've seen this in a uh, wild uh, eatable book. And I think I've seen these too in a wild eatable book. See, I, oh no, I'm not eating anything I don't know about, but I've seen these in the book before. And I've seen these in the book. You die first. And whatever this is. I'm not eating anything I don't know. We'll just deal with crawfish pies for now, Bear. But there's snacks out here. Where is Ken when you need him? Show me some stuff. Now what? I invite a lot of YouTubers. But I know how it is. Gas, money, distance. Dedication to their job because they have to work. Some jobs don't give you all vacations. It's understandable. And I do appreciate those who thought about coming. I know my bear came. That fuzzy buzzy bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't bare. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wasn't so fuzzy now, was he? <laughs> like I said, thank you for those who tried to come and see your next video. Oh, I you.